Today is September 21st, the Feast of St. Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. In first century Judea, few people were more hated than tax collectors. The so-called publicans were seen as collaborating with the occupying Romans. To make matters worse, rather than being paid directly by the Romans, tax collectors were simply empowered to add whatever necessary they felt to the taxes they collected as payment for their work. Of course, the people were plagued by disreputable publicans that, given this power, became rich by extortion. Matthew, also called Levi, came from this despised group of people. Jesus was infamous in his day for his association with undesirables, and this included tax collectors. It certainly still shocked many, however, when he called Matthew directly from the tax booth to be his disciple. Jesus was further criticized when he allowed Matthew to honor him with a feast in his home, attended by many other tax collectors. The Gospels record little else directly about Matthew. As an apostle, he was, of course, a witness to Jesus' resurrection and ascension. Acts records his presence at Pentecost. Early Christian tradition says only that Matthew preached the Gospel throughout Judea and then headed east, where he was later martyred. Matthew's most significant contribution to the faith is, of course, the Gospel which bears his name. While the book itself makes no claims to its authorship, the earliest Christian traditions connect it to Matthew. Eusebius, one of the church's first historians, claimed that Matthew had made a collection of the sayings and actions of Jesus, which eventually became the Gospel account that we know. Given Matthew's training and work as a tax collector, he would have been literate in at least Aramaic and Greek, and so it would seem entirely possible that he would have created such a collection and later used it to compose this gospel. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the witness of your Apostle and Evangelist Matthew to the gospel of your Son, our Savior. And we pray that, after his example, we may with ready wills and hearts obey the calling of our Lord to follow him, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.